All right, today we're gonna work rifle. We're gonna work rifle, ready up with the rifle, same as the presentation. We teach this in what is referred to as the big six. Hi, my name is Hank Hayes, Intuitive Self-Protection and NLB Tactical, and this is Dan Spagone. He's been with the NLB company before there was an Intuitive Self-Protection company, and Dan is gonna run us through this ready up big six. Lead instructor has trained numerous special operations commands, both law enforcement, military, and civilians. Rock and roll, bro. All right, in this block of instruction, we're gonna be looking at the big six or the six fundamentals of shooting for the carving platform. Now the fundamentals don't change. So our big six is our stance or platform, our grip, our presentation, our sight alignment, sight picture, our trigger control, and our follow through. So those are our big six. In the carbine platform, our stance is fundamentally the same. We are still looking for some type of athletic stance, approximately shoulder width apart, uh, athletic, if I was gonna be doing some type of striking here, or some type of movement, a basic athletic position. All right, our grip is a little more in depth in particular with a carbine, but we're still looking to have a positive control of the weapon system. So on the firing hand side, I'm still looking to get my firing hand up nice and tight on that grip to be able to access all of my controls to include more specifically my safety and the trigger. So I want my nice tight high grip on the firing hand. On my non-dominant hand, I want to make sure that I have a good grip on that hand guard. So something you'll see from most shooters is what we call a C grip. So that thumb is coming over the top to help control and mitigate that recoil and the rest of the hand is going beneath and below. I'm in my presented position, I am pulling with my non-dominant hand into my shoulder and kind of pushing forward with that firing hand. So I still have that high back strap grip, just like on a pistol with that firing hand and a C grip on the hand guard. You'll also notice that as I present out, I'm locking in and kind of extending my non-dominant arm so that I can get as much biomechanical leverage and force into that hand guard. You'll also notice that my right shoulder or my dominant shoulder is rotated forward. So I'm not rotating back, I'm not blading, but I am using my body mechanics and my shoulder to rotate that rifle in. My head is up, right and down. I am not cocked over, looking for that optic by compromising my head position. My head is simply down along that bore axis. So our grip again, C-clamp on the handguard, high up on the back strap just like a pistol, and able to access all of my controls. With telescoping stocks, how you access all of your controls is making sure that that length of pull sits in that crook of that elbow so that when you reach forward, you can reach all of those controls. If the buttstock is collapsed, you may be too far, and if the buttstock is all the way out, you may not be able to reach everything. So we wanna find that nice, good position where in the crook of your elbow, you can reach everything nice and accurately and quickly. So now we've got our stance, we've got our grip. Our presentation can come from a low ready, which is where the pocket of the buttstock is in that shoulder pocket and you're coming up, or it could be from a high ready position, in which case I'm going to punch out to clear any shirts and garments and then back into that shoulder. Again, rotating that shoulder in straight and forward. So from a high ready position, again, muzzle pointed in a safe direction upwards. I have my good C clamp grip with that non-dominant hand. My firing hand is still good to go, finger straight off the trigger. The presentation is forward and into that shoulder, nice and tight. Okay, again from a low ready, you're already in the shoulder and you're coming up. We're trying not to overshoot it, so if I'm in the high ready position, I don't wanna come in, down, and up, and if I'm in a low ready position, I don't wanna come over and then back down. I'm trying to be very succinct with my movements. All right, so again, we've got stance, grip, presentation. For sight alignment, sight picture. If you're running iron sights, obviously you need to align those sights, all right? Sight alignment is aligning the sights. If you're running some type of optic, aligning the sights is putting that reticle where you are intending to hit. Sight picture is making sure that that alignment is lined up in totality of the full sight picture of your firing solution. So in the case of a red dot, I am putting that red dot on the center mass combat effective zone of my target. 
So again, stance, grip, presentation, side alignment, sight picture. Next is trigger control. Trigger control is still an important fundamental in the big six in our fundamentals of shooting. We wanna make sure that we're not slapping that trigger, that we're not yanking that trigger. It's a nice, good, smooth trigger pull. So again, stance, grip, presentation, sight alignment, sight picture, trigger control, and then follow through. Follow through is often one of the most neglected, but arguably one of the most important uh, fundamentals of the big six. Follow through is the follow on engagement uh, sight picture if necessary, and or checking your work through your sights. Not every lethal force threat or target requires only one round. So follow through is important to make sure that you are getting that secondary tertiary, et cetera, sight picture, checking your work through your sights and seeing if that target or threat requires more rounds. So again, one final time, we have our stance, we have our grip, we have our presentation, we have our sight alignment sight picture, we have our trigger control, and we have our follow through. One other important thing with the carbine real quick is that thumb safety. It is important that any time that barrel is not pointed in a safe direction, that that safety is on. So getting used to coming up, safety off, off target, safety back on. Up, safety off, off target, safety back on. Those are the big six, the fundamentals of firing for the carbine platform. Thank awesome, you. yeah, that was great. And just so we were clear, this weapon system is safe and clear. If you could, real quick, just run through it, same body position, just maybe pointed that way. So you just angle, angle off here so they can see that side angle. Just walk through it real quick again and then we'll cap out. Okay, so I've got a good athletic stance. Stance, my grip, high up on the back strap of the pistol grip, C-clamp on the handguard. Presentation, from a low ready, straight up, safety comes off, from a high ready, Punch out, clear any shirts, garments, body, uh, plate carriers, etc. into that shoulder. Left arm or non-dominant arm is pulling into that shoulder. Right shoulder is pushing forward. Firing hand is mostly focused on trigger work. So we got presentation, sight alignment, sight picture. In this case, I'm running a 45 degree, or excuse me, a 35 degree offset red dot. I'm putting that dot on my target. Trigger control, so we've already come up, safety's off, trigger control, nice, good, smooth trigger control, and then follow through, looking for that secondary sight picture, checking my work through my sights. Again, that is the big six of the fundamental firing of the carbine platform. Outstanding, Dan, thanks so much. That was great, man, that was great. So. Dan is one of the best instructors in the country, and we get the opportunity, and this guy's been shooting pretty much maybe before he could actually walk. So he's been doing it for, for a long time, and he's got a long uh, family lineage in military you know, and whatnot. So rewind that video over and over again to watch all of the finite pieces that he's doing in his body mechanics and rifle manipulations. We drop a video every Thursday that is gonna add to your knowledge base, so be on the lookout for that. Get in our email list for more trainings, get on our social media platform, but again, on that email list, we have the information drops every Thursday. We have interviews with different instructors, students, people in the industry as well, discounts on more advanced training and discounts on all live training. You can find our website at intuitivesp.com and find all our social platforms, the Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Thanks, we look forward to seeing you. Have a great day and make sure Sure you get training if it's not with us with a competent instructor we look forward to seeing you on the deck Dan thanks a lot look forward to me we got a class here to teach today out on the range so uh, good stuff now you got any any closing comments for the guys stay safe stay smart stay tactical love it love it love it yeah